the all new Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate. Just look at this. We have apps like TikTok, Angry Birds or Zoom. You have so much space, just look at it. Hello guys, I am back today, welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new 2024 model Mercedes-Benz E-Class, but as you can already see, it's not a normal one. This right in front of us is the station wagon, the E-Class S8. And in today's video, I wanna give you a full tour of the exterior, showing you all the exterior highlights. Afterwards, we'll also have a closer look in the inside. And then last but not least, we will be finishing it all off with a resume. As you can remember, a few months ago I've presented you the all new E-Class, the W214 E-Class, but as a limousine. But today it's now time to present you the station wagon. So let me talk about the key facts before I start with the walk around. The E-Class Estate in its uh, wheelbase is exactly the same size as the limousine. We are talking about 4 meters and 95 centimeters. This one is now 4 millimeters longer than the predecessor and also it's 2 centimeters wider giving us so much more space now. Right in front of us we have the AMG line option also with the gorgeous exterior paint called Alpine Grey. It's a manufacture color and we also have the night package. All the options that we have on the limousine will be also available on the Estate. We are starting with three engines with the E200, E220 and E300E. And the main market I think for this one is actually Europe and uh, Germany in specific. So let's get on, let's start with the walk around. And starting the walk around, we will be mainly focusing first on the rear because here we have the big changes and here we have it the new look of the all new mercedes-benz e-class estate as you can see we have an uh, upgraded design here on the rear but uh, first things first i have to mention it it actually looks similar to the design language of the limousine as always but now the e-class estate is sportier than ever just look onto the side and on to the design it's really really sporty especially this line here in the rear going way steep and now giving us shooting brake vibes i really really like it uh, especially with the exterior paint and the amg line as we have here as we also have the night package which is optional you get everything here blacked out it's pretty pretty cool but now let's focus on the rear in full detail we have the exact same rear tail lights as we have with the limousine as you can see we have the two stars here in the tail lights i really love the details here this looks super super cool just having a closer look also the design here is comparable to what we've already seen with the limousine it's like a bow design and then in addition to that for the e-class first time ever we have a full chrome bar here surrounding the entire rear and giving us a very very luxurious exterior here which i'm a huge fan of also this part here is not illuminated it's just for the look finished here in a dark red color tone to match with the tail lights here connecting again with the ev lineup for example with the eqe we have a full light bar here but with the normal e-class combustion models we have this bar which is not illuminated with the rear diffuser this here is finished in plastic which uh, i'm okay actually for base mercedes models here also with the latest design of the exhaust tips with a new and cool shape which i'm a huge fan of at this point i also have to mention it because you've been asking it recently the new e-class comes with these fake exhaust vents but these are not real as you can see it's just for the look and these are just covers but i actually personally don't mind having them uh, because they always look clean but there are some of you guys who actually don't like it but all in all guys how do you like the look of the rear of the latest generation mercedes-benz e-class estate with the estate we don't have the rear wheel steering and why it's because of the space of the trunk First things first, let me just open this up and give you a closer look up here. We have a hybrid model here, plug-in hybrid E300E and you can see this small step here decreasing the space but with the combustion engine e-class estate you have again way more space. When we are putting the seats down, which you can do with these buttons here, there we go and 
there we go you just have to push it right down again uh you get a total space volume of 1830 liters uh, when the seats are up we are talking about 460 liters and with the consumption model we are talking about 615 liters so that makes actually a huge difference whether to choose the hybrid or the consumption car just by the space of the trunk but all in all the way they worked it out it's it's pretty nice looking and fantastic. The only thing that you don't have is the space that you can have for the spare tire and all the other tools. In addition to that, we have this one, which you can pull out, but now it's a separate part with the net you can have in the back. So it's two different things. You can actually choose whether to have this or that uh, for the first time ever. Back in the days it used to be one single part, but now they have changed it. You can also remove this thing from the right hand side. There we go, super easy and very practical. Now they have put it in two separate parts, so uh, you don't have that much of weight on a single one. And you can also have the option of putting this thing or just the net whatever you like so with the estate we always have the electronically closing and opening of the trunk here you open it like this just down here super easy very very cool a lot of space and yeah how do you guys like it so we have actually talked a lot about the rear. Now let's talk about the front of the all new E-Class Estate. And as soon as you have a closer look on the front, there's actually no difference when you compare it with the limousine. This being the AMG line, looking very sporty, but you can also go with the progressive line with the standing star and the different grill as well. But for me, this is actually my spec. I really like it, AMG line with the Alpine Grey exterior paint and the Nike package. We have 20 inch wheels. This is the max you can go with the hybrid models. If you go with the combustion engine E-Class, you can also go up to 21 inches. Uh, all in all, I have to say I'm a huge fan of the new grille here with the Mercedes-Benz star pattern, full finished in chrome with the 3D Mercedes-Benz star emblem. We also have the updated headlights here. And now here you can also see the nice bow design here. The shape of the eyes of the new E-Class looks pretty, pretty cool. I really like it. The only thing that I don't like and have to be honest with you is the grill frame here always being finished in black gloss at this point they want to connect with the eq family because as you usually know with the electric mercedes-benz models we always have a connection between the so-called grill or uh, front panel and the headlights and they just wanted to create that here as well i would just offer it as an option instead of putting it on all models what do you guys think about it leave it in the comment section below with the amg line we also have the front bumper here finished uh, pretty cool and we even have mercedes-benz star pattern here as well full black finish as we have the nike package and all in all guys how do you like it i really really love it especially also the power domes here on the front bonnet with the exterior paint and the sun shining right now it looks so gorgeous it's also the first time for me seeing the new e-class uh, on a normal street here outside of a studio and there's also something i have to point out is this line here on the side you can see it moving throughout the entire body you can actually see how it moves here from the side and merging inside the body of the e-class and then it continues here again in the rear it's so cool i really love that especially when you look at it from the side you see that it's just one of my favorite design highlights of the new e-class but now let's get on and let's start talking about the inside as you already know we have the seamless door handles coming with the latest generation e-class you just open it up and then you have the inside of the w214 e-class just look at this in the inside of the new e-class estate it's actually comparable to what we've already seen with the limousine we have a lot of changes and also we have a lot of flies in the inside of this e-class you can see that because it's pretty warm inside the car also over here the inside of this is finished in neva gray one of my favorite colors but as a daily color i would go with something more darkish to be honest as we have the amg line you also have the amg floor mats mercedes-benz step bolts and let's just get right into it and let me give you a full tour of the 
Interior. So we are now right inside the all new E-Class Estate. And as you can see, we have the all new and upgraded interior unit here called the Mercedes-Benz Super Screen. Uh, it's super cool. This Super Screen is a latest tech interior unit which comes with the latest generation e-class back in the days with the eqs for example or the eqe we used to have the hyper screen but now we have the all new super screen here with the super screen we also have the updated operating system called mbos back in the days it used to be the mbux and now it's so easy to use i i have to i have to mention multiple times because with the mbos we have a big upgrades coming here and now this actually is so much easier to use it's so responsive i really like it and also with the app store and all the apps you can have here it's comparable to what we know from our phones on our daily usage you can see here we have the app store and then you have the media as we already know comfort phone radio whatever and then as soon as you swipe over here we have apps like tiktok angry birds or zoom and talking about zoom we actually have a camera right inside the new e-class with the limousine and the estate it's actually an option to have this to have zoom calls in the inside i actually tested it and it works on the passenger display yeah you can just activate it over here uh, you have also a lot of options we have zinc as a video streaming platform uh, which is new and you can actually go with whatever you like we also have a 3d display here in front of us i'm just sh shutting it down right now amg line uh, steering wheel here flat bottom full black leather finish also here on top is full black leather we have the ambient color surrounding us but we can't appreciate it right now the seats here finished in neva gray giving the final touches and then we have a lot of light coming inside from the panoramic roof in the back you have so much space just to look at it there's actually an enormous amount of headspace also more leg room as we have this car a bit more extended so all in all guys how do you like the all new e-class estate this interior in specific please share it in the comment section below uh, i have to say i really like it and we will be driving it soon hopefully can't wait to be sharing my first driving impressions especially with the new infotainment unit which we have here can't wait to show that to you guys uh, do you have any questions for the future videos please share it in the comment section below can't wait to answer them looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day i will be back